Hi, Kyle here. Today we're going to look at using Microsoft's VC Package Dependency Manager with Visual Studio to install a third-party library. Before we dive in, let's talk a little bit about package management with C++. Say you want to write a C++ program that uses a third-party GUI library for buttons and sliders, another library for 2D graphics and sound, and a third library for parsing and writing JSON documents. Initially, you might consider downloading and configuring all three libraries manually and then integrating them yourself into your C++ project. But this process can be time consuming, error prone, and can often tie your code to a specific version of each library. This is where a package manager, sometimes called the dependency manager, comes into play. Package managers streamline the process of managing, installing, and integrating third party libraries into your C++ projects. Some programming languages come with an official package manager, or at least a package manager that is preferred by the community. In C++, however, there are many to choose from. VC Package is a free C++ package manager from Microsoft for acquiring and managing third-party libraries. With it, you can download and build over 1,500 open source libraries. Here's what we'll explore in today's video. We'll start by making sure that Visual Studio is up to date and includes VC Package. We'll then look at how to run VC Package directly from a Visual Studio shell. After that, we'll talk about VC Package integration into the Microsoft build system, configuring Visual Studio projects for VC Package use, generating a VC Package manifest file, adding dependencies to this manifest, and then using these dependencies in your source code, and finally, compiling and running your project. Let's start with updating Visual Studio. I'll run the Visual Studio installer from the start button. And it's Visual Studio 17.6 where VC package got integrated. And you can see I'm already um, above that, but I'm just gonna update myself to be at the latest version of Visual Studio. That will bring me to 17.9.6. And now that we have Visual Studio upgraded, we can also just take a quick peek inside by clicking the Modify button here and just confirming that the checkbox is checked right beside where it says VC Package Manager in the installation details. Now I'm gonna fire up Visual Studio 2022. And let's create a new project. We will specify a C++ project, and specifically, I'm just going to choose a simple console app. I'm going to give the project a name, and I'm going to call it uh, VC, VC Package with FMT. Um, and that's because the library that I'm going to pull in is going to be the FMT formatting library, uh, sometimes known as FUMT. And the thing I want to make note of here is that I want to have this check mark uh, selected, which says place solution and project in the same directory. I'm just going to click create now. And I think you'll be surprised at how little we have to do to get this up and running. Uh, the first thing I want to do is just make sure that VC package is going to run properly from a shell within Visual Studio. So I'm going to go to view and pull up a terminal. This gives me access to a developer PowerShell. So the command I'm gonna run here only needs to be run once. And I don't mean once per project, I just mean once uh, before you start using VC package in all your projects. And so I'm going to type in here VC package, that's VC P K G, uh, integrate, install. And you can see here, we're using the MS build system and it now tells us that all MS build C++ projects can now pound include any install libraries. And uh, so that not only integrates the install, but it also lets us know that we can successfully run the VC package command from the developer PowerShell. Now the library that I want to use with VC package is FUMPT, the modern formatting library. And FUMPT is a bit of a replacement for things like printf or cout, so a replacement for uh, some of the ways to format and output strings in C++. Uh, so you can see some examples here. Here it is just outputting a string. Here it is creating a standard string, which is formatted in a particular manner. Uh, I'm going to grab some code that I already wrote 
and replace the default program that comes with this project. I'll just paste in this code. The uh, program we are going to try to execute is going to take a string in a variable called name and echo it out by saying hello, comma, name, and uh, a new line. Uh, if I run the program here without the uh, inclusion of the Foomf library, we should see it execute correctly. Here's the output. It says hello, Wally, based on this cout command. And we want to replace that with the FMT equivalent, which is just FMT print. We're going to use hello, uh, and then we're using FMT's interpolation here to get the value of the string name and inject it into the string where these curly braces are. That means we're going to need to bring in the FMT library, but currently that library is not part of this project. So you can see we have the squiggly red underlines on the include and the usage of FMT. One thing we need to do to set up all of our projects for use with VC package is go to the project properties under the project menu, going to the VC package section. And we want to make sure this setting for use VC package manifest is set to yes. With that in place, we now actually want to create a VC package manifest. And that's really just a JSON file that's going to go into our project folder that will specify our third party library dependencies. So I will once again open up a terminal window. And to create a new manifest file, I just need to initialize the project as being a VC package project. So I'll type in VC package new dash dash uh, application. That runs, we don't see any output, but what we will see is if we go and open up a file in our project folder, we're going to see that we have uh, these two files now, a VC package JSON and a VC package configuration.json. And if I open up the VC package.json, we'll see that currently it's just empty. It's just got two curly braces in it. If we open up the configuration file, we'll see that VC package is pre-configured to download um, all of its third-party libraries from the default Microsoft registry. And all we need to do next is actually ask VC package to bring in the dependency, in our case, the FUMF library. So we're going to type in VC package add port FMT. And port is just a uh, specific term to VC package that refers to a particular library and some metadata around that library, like its name, its version, and even if that library itself has other dependencies. So I'm going to hit enter there. It says succeeded in adding ports to the VC package file. Uh, and if we look into the VC package file, we'll see now that we have a list of dependencies and FUMF is listed as one of our dependencies. The red squigglies haven't gone away yet. Uh, that's going to come next. What I need to do now is to build and run my project. So I will go to build solution or hit control shift B. And in the output window here, we can see that VC package is kicking in. We can see that it has installed VC package dependencies. Uh, the first time you run that for any individual package, it might take a little bit longer. I've previously already run uh, this command for the FMT library in another project, so it went a lot quicker here. And at the end here, you can see that the build was successful. And I can now click to run my program. And it is running. Note though that we still have the red squigglies. Those only go away after restarting Visual Studio. I haven't found a way yet to have those go away without a restart. So I can just close this project. I can rerun Visual Studio, open up the project here. And you can now see that the red squigglies have gone away. I can even run a program that uses a different aspect of Foomt. Here I'm pulling in Foomt Chrono to grab the system time and date and print those out in a formatted manner. And that is working without any issue. 
And so there you go. We went through everything we wanted to go through today. We updated Visual Studio. We were able to run VC package from within a uh, developer PowerShell. We made sure that the MS build integration was set up. Uh, we configured our Visual Studio project within the project settings to make use of the manifest file. Uh, we generated a VC package manifest file. That was the, uh, the JSON file that we were uh, looking at right here. Uh, and then we were able to add dependencies from the uh, PowerShell to that manifest and uh, make use of them in our source code and compile and run our project. And so you should now have everything you need to get going, pulling in third-party libraries into your Visual Studio projects with VC package.